Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our daily devotional for this Friday. Glad you could join us this morning. We're also going to be in the book of 1 Corinthians, and we're again going to be in chapter 1. This morning, I'd kind of look at verses 4 through 9, and I want to look at how much Paul refers to what Christ has done here and how much Paul refers to what we have done here. So let's take a look. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, or chapter 1, verses 4 through 9. The scripture says, I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. Now notice, we're going to start out here and we're going to say, do you notice that Paul never says, I thank God for what you've done with his grace, or I thank God that you received his grace. He's thanking God for the grace given. That's all God. That's not you. Let's move on to verse five. Um, for in him, you have been enriched in every way with all kinds of speech and with all knowledge. So again, God, Paul is thanking God for the grace that's given them. He's thanking God uh, that in them, you have been enriched. In him, you have all kinds of speech and all kinds of knowledge because of the gift of Christ that is in you. Then in verse uh, 8, he goes on and say, God thus confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Sorry, that's verse 6. God thus confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Verse 7, therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will also keep you firm to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful who has called you into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. It, it can't be any plainer in these verses here that Paul talks about our salvation. Paul talks about the grace that we've been given. Paul talks about the, the spiritual gifts that we've been given. Paul talks about the Holy Spirit being inside of us. Paul talks about how our speech has been changed and our knowledge has been changed, but he does not one time in any of this talk about how it is us. It is all Christ, and Paul talks about Christ and what Christ has done and what Christ has done and what Christ has done. And so I just wanted to point that out this morning. I just wanted to point out that if you think you're struggling in this Christian life, if you think you're not doing good enough, if you think you're not living up to the standard, just remember that it's Christ in you and not what you do that makes you who you are and makes you special to God. Now, we should be living a righteous life, yes, but remember that the struggle is not yours alone, but it belongs to him. And I hope that you can see all the things that God has done for us in this verse. I hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Sunday.